The atomium in Brussels represents an elementary iron crystal enlarged 165 billion times. This unusual structure has been the Belgian capital's most distinctive landmark for close to 60 years. Built as a symbol for the peaceful use of nuclear power, the atomium continues to attract visitors in droves. Alexandre Laurent has been taking pictures of this imposing structure for over a decade, from the ground and from the air. His passion for the atomium knows no bounds. It's a monument that's especially fascinating in photographs. It's like a mirror which reflects the sky and the ground. The colors change according to the season. One time it's red, then blue, and the next time green. The clouds also play a role. Visitors take away a different impression of this structure every time. Inside, they can travel through 23-meter-long tubes from one sphere to the next, rising ever higher. Here, people get to see another side of the atomium. From the outside, it looks very modern, shiny and lovely. Inside, it's quite rough. The spheres and tubes are crude and give the atomium an industrial feel. With this building, Belgium wanted to show what it could do at the time. These pictures show the atomium under construction in the late 1950s. Built for the 1958 Brussels World's Fair, it was to be a futuristic prestige project. 102 meters tall, the structure featured nine aluminum-clad spheres. The atomium was supposed to be torn down after Expo 58 ended. But it proved such a hit that it was left standing and even had the outer shell redone in stainless steel. Almost six decades later, the building has become a national symbol. An exhibition recalls the early days. What it meant to the people, it was like coming here and having the wow feeling. This is what Belgium can show. This is what we want to show to the world, what, what the, the small Belgian country can do. It was the first exposition also after World War II. So it was really the whole world coming here um, and all the countries showing off what they could, uh, their technology, their knowledge. To this day, the famous landmark has lost none of its fascination. 600,000 people flock to the Atomium each year, making it one of Belgium's biggest tourist attractions. And most take a picture as a reminder of their visit. Euromax asked our viewers around the world to send in their best shots from their trip to Brussels with the Atomium. The size of the of everything, the, the the tubes and everything, it's really really nice to see it. It's quite old, so it's great that it still profits from tourism today. I'm glad to have seen it. I like the architecture best from inside and out. Building it was certainly a big achievement, and it offers a great view of Brussels. Even for Alexandre Laurent, a visit to the Atomium wouldn't be complete without a look out over the city. The ride on the elevator is a highlight in itself. The world's fastest at the time it was built, the elevator whisks visitors to 102 meters above ground in 23 seconds. At the top is what many consider the nicest panoramic view of the city. For me, it's a magical place. The view over Brussels and the surrounding area is fantastic. You can discover interesting details about the city. It's a bit like looking out the window of an airplane. I always like to come back up here. The Atomium, the Belgian capital's most famous landmark, is an impressive sight, no matter how you look at it.